I've had this idea for a while now, and subscribers have actually suggested it to me. They say, Woody, what would you tell the young version of you? And uh, I thought, you know what? I'm going to make that happen. So here goes. Number one, when you fall in love with Karen Carpenter in the third grade, ask her out. Who knows? She might have said yes. By the way, 20 years later, when you're happily married and gainfully employed, you'll see her again. She's cutting your hair, and she's still hot. When your third grade music teacher takes roll call and assigns you the nickname Woody, just roll with it. In spite of all the penis jokes you'll endure in life, it's still a cool name, and it makes introductions a little bit more interesting. When your friends suggest an afternoon of breaking all your brother's stuff, like his swing, his radio, and things around his room, your mother is going to give you a beating that you remember 30 years later. Don't go with it this time. For some reason, in fourth grade, you're a total badass, but in fifth grade, you're kind of a sissy. Punch somebody in the face and change that trajectory. There's plenty of guys that earned it. In the seventh grade, you change schools and make friends with Brian Trossel. Ditch that guy. He turns into a muscle-bound racist asshole that bullies everybody. And sometimes, that's going to include you. Life's going to be better when you realize that some friends are toxic and need to be excommunicated. In the 8th grade, you dump Lisa Matthews, who was totally cool, to go out with Jennifer Kessler because she's hotter. That's a mistake. Jennifer dumps you a few weeks later for a hotter guy. Karma's a bitch, Woody. As soon as you enter high school, try out for a sport. You'd be pretty good at wrestling and swimming. If you do that, you'll have an instant group of friends, bullying will never exist, and you'll have a reason to keep your grades up. Also, coaches could be mentors that care about you and motivate you. High school is most people's only chance to participate in meaningful sports. Don't wait until your senior year to figure that out. In ninth grade, Stacy Claus totally loves you, but you don't love her back. You'll regret that a few months later when she wins the Miss Ocean City pageant and the positions reverse. Nicole in 10th grade was totally down to fuck, and nobody else will be for a long time. Make your decision wisely. After your junior year prom, don't bring in those next morning pictures that each of your parents took. People are going to think you slept together, and she'll hate you forever for that. Driving is not a competition. When you race oncoming traffic at a red light to see who gets to the center of the intersection first, or when you try to double the speed limit all the time, that doesn't make you cool, and it doesn't mean you're winning. It just means you're stupid. Your life isn't the only one you risk when you're an asshole behind the wheel. On that note, if you're driving tired and you pull over to go to sleep, if you get bored after 10 minutes, that's not a clue. Oh well, I guess I'm safe. You will never recover from the injuries you get in that car accident. You're lucky you didn't hurt anybody else too. Your senior year, you're going to start dating arguably the hottest girl in school, but she's emotionally troubled. Spend a little more time figuring out what's going on in her head and a little less time worrying about what's going on in your pants. College is not like the movies. It is not a non-stop party with no responsibilities. It's actually a ton of classwork, and it's easy to get in trouble. You'll regret getting thrown out of the dorms for aiming jars of jelly between the handrails and causing them to fa fall down five flights of stairs. You spend the next year riding a motorcycle to class in the New Jersey ice and snow. Jackie is the one. Never doubt it. Lock in that girl and never look back. Don't let your dad pick your career. If you hate doing it, it's not a good job, regardless of how well it pays. When your Cisco stock options make you a 100,000 air during the dot-com boom, cash out, the bust is coming. Health and personal relationships are the only problems worth worrying about. Everything else can be solved by working harder and earning more money. Healthy babies are not as expensive as everybody else says they are. If you can't swing 20 bucks a week for diapers, then you, don't sh then you shouldn't be having kids yet. On the other hand, kids that need a lot of medical attention will change your life. On that note, Colin is awesome. Never spend one second worrying about what somebody else thinks. Just enjoy your time with him and enjoy his growth at his pace.